Yo, what the deal, man? It's George truly Stewie. Big Stewie, that is, man. J. Nick Sly's guy on the radio. You dig? I want a 7 9 Dirty Daily Representer. Trapping out the trap house. You dig? I got my first guest, man. DJ23. What's up, my boy? What's up, Stu? What you doing? Man, you know, I'm slow motion, man. Now, what the hell you got going on? Now, you've been in the streets. You've been getting busy. You know what I'm saying? You've been DJing, doing your thing. Now, tell me about this project you got coming out. Well, uh, League of My Own, it's already out. It's uh, available now on all platforms, on Apple Music, Spotify, everything. So make sure y'all go get that. It's a producer tape, my producer tape, uh, nine songs on the uh, album, eight artists, uh, eight local artists I've been working with in the Atlanta area. Uh, mostly everybody like that's on the project went to high school with me. So, you know, we're just working, trying to get music out, just trying to push everybody in the music industry, like get this thing going. Okay, what high school you represent, bro? What, what, what high school you went to? I went to Westlake High School. Okay, Westlake, Westlake. Oh, it's a lot of talent coming out of Westlake. Football players and everything. Yes, sir. We got... So uh, what class you graduate? Uh, 2017. So you telling me everybody on the tape graduated with you? Or went to school with you? Everybody on the tape actually is younger than me. Like, they actually graduated after me, like, 2019. Oh, okay. So it's a lot of young, it's a lot of young talented artists on the project. So, so let me ask you a question. What made you, like, what, what, what was the criteria as far as, like, you picking an artist and, and you figuring out, like, yo, I'm going to work with this artist, I'm going to work with that artist. Like, what was the criteria? Well, really, it's like, uh, I've just, like, picked, like, what artist that fits my sound, like, the beats I make. And basically, like, people that I've built close relationships with, like, over the years, like, Epic, the artist that I'm about to bring in, he, uh, we've actually been DJing together for, like, since high school, like since 10th, 11th grade, just doing parties in Atlanta, house parties. And then I brought him up as the next DJ after I went to college, went to FAMU, and okay. then he just like followed in my footsteps. And then he actually started rapping near the end of his high school career. So I just started working with him. And then we just been building a close relationship. And then everybody else, I just been like sending out beats and seeing what they can bring back to the table. And I, I like what they can bring. So I just add them to the project. So tell me this, like, what kind of producer are you? Because you know, some people are producers and some people are beat makers. There's a big difference. What's your definition of producer versus beat maker? Uh, or do you, do, you, do you have a, you know what I'm saying? Do you know, or do you, you know what I mean? I mean, I really don't have, like, I don't really defer to two because, like, producing is basically, like, producing and beat making really fall in the same category, like, to me, because, like, really, you have to have a creative mind to put a sound together and make your own sound into, like, your own beat. That's what I'm saying. So as far as with me, this is how I feel. You know what I'm saying? Because I like to kick game. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like you're a producer, not a beat maker. Yeah. Producer is really involved in that particular artist's career. You know what I'm saying? Having to tell them like, yeah, I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? Tweaking this and tweaking that. Like, you got a bigger horizon. You ain't just no beat maker. You can hear, when you do a producer tape, you a producer. Yes, sir. You ain't no yes, beat maker. You can give anybody a beat. But if you in there and you working it, and you working them knobs, and you saying, no, to say it like this, or, or use that tone, I like this like that, that means you're a, you're a producer, brother. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that's a little church from the old head. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So tell me who your new artist is, bro. Uh, my boy, Epic. He's an up upcoming rapper out of Atlanta, Georgia. You know, a young artist. He's really talented. He got a melodic sound. And I think he's one of the next big artists in the game, to be honest. Okay, okay. Epic. So so tell me how you link with, how, how you link with my boy at 23, man. Man, for sure. Me and 23, we met in middle school, actually, because he was the... Uh, uh, the older DJ at the school I went to, I went to Shantown DJing, and I was, and I DJ too as well. And I just started watching him back then, and then me and him, uh, we started linking up. After a while, I think probably about tenth or eleventh grade, that's when I took over at in the high school that we went to DJing. And then I think say maybe a year ago, that's when he started sending me beats. Cause uh, over a year and a half ago, that's when I started making my own music, and he started sending me beats, loading me up. And then we got in, then he sent me them for this project, and then he put out the uh the League of My Own. Okay, League of My Own. So so tell me this, man. You know, in Atlanta, we got a lot of talented artists. Seems like everybody every other every other black man rap. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> every every other rapper rap. So what makes you different? You know what I'm saying? Because this we have a lot of competition here. Right? What what makes you different? Like what's gonna make you stand so, out? What made me stand out is the fact that I know I don't sound like nobody else. Like everything that I talk about them, you know what I'm saying, things that I wanna do in life, things that I have done in life. And I, my sound, I, that's what I really believe stand me out from anybody else. It's the way I get on beats, the way my flows are, and yeah. So, so what's your, what's your, what would, how would you describe your sound? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, besides melodic, 
You know what I mean? What oh. kind of content you talking about? You know what I'm saying? Because you know we be having different things. You a trapper? You a, you a scammer? What's going on? Yeah. <laughs> I be uh, I I just be doing my own thing. You know what I'm saying? I make music. Uh, whatever I'm going with, whenever I'm in the studio, I hear the beat, and really whatever come to mind when I'm in there, because that's usually how I just make up the song or whatever. And yeah. Sure. Okay. 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 That's what's up. So twenty three, tell me this, man. Give me all the rundown of all the artists on this particular project. Uh, so track one, we got my boy Get It and Brent. Uh, it's called Let's Play. Uh, track two, we got the only girl on the project, Mama Glock. She's a young up and coming artist, also from Westlake. Mama um, Glock sounds dangerous. Okay, keep going. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm not messing with her. You hear me? <laughs> track, track three, we got J4K. He graduated with me from Westlake, class 2017. Uh, track four, we got Epic on Pete. Uh, track five, I got my boy DJ Kobe Rock. He uh, Kobe Rock, that's my boy now. Kobe Rock, he did lock it for me. Uh, track six, we got my boy Juwan, aka J Poppy, and Mike with the Mac. He co produced the um song called All In Every Day. Uh, track seven with my boy Coop Westlake, and then track eight, DJ Spins. Actually, uh, Epic's older brother, DJ Spins, did track eight. Go. I, look, I looked at them, I said, Man, that man looked like Spins, man. That man looked real familiar. <laughs> Your face, boy. Oh, you know what I'm saying, man. TF life, man. Tune for life. He got the familiar you? face, man. Me and your brother are good friends, man. You uh, so you better be good. Hey, you better not I suck. Know. Okay. <laughs> Cause we ain't we ain't gonna play it. Now I know you spins, bro. I'm about to be really tough on you. I need to hear that. I'm about to listen to the project right now. Man, I need you too, man. Tell me how, how it sounded, bro. I need we met up a uh, a while ago, I remember. That's what I'm saying. You probably was a, you were a lot younger then. I was a little younger too. You know what I'm saying? Oh. So definitely salute to y'all, man. Uh 23, what's next after this project, dog? Uh, really, just me and Epi just gonna keep locking in, just keep working. I'm gonna keep, you know, just locking in with the other artists that's on the project and probably expand my sound. Just try to build with more artists in the industry. Just keep this, like, music thing pushing, man. Man, well, salute to y'all youngest, man. I appreciate y'all checking in, you know what I'm saying, and us rapping, getting an opportunity to figure out this league of, league of your own, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? The big leagues is going down. You know what I'm saying? Epic, what you got next, bro? Man, what I got next? I just last I dropped a project in April called No Limits, but coming up, me and Spence finna drop a collab tape, and mm. it's on the way. It's dropping mm -hmm. probably before the end of this month. Be on the lookout for Blues Brothers, man. Okay, be on the lookout, Blues brothers, man. Salute to y'all, man. I can't wait to the music, man. I'm proud of y'all, youngest. Y'all kings, keep going, keep pushing, keep going. Dirty Daily is going down, man. Trapping at the trap house. DJ Twenty Three, my boy Epic, Big Stewie. You dig? We in here just like that.